Hello all, welcome to part 11 of Selenium Java Biggest Course Training Series. In this session, I am going to cover the different components of Selenium. So let's get started. First of all, Selenium is not a single tool. Okay, we believe that. Okay, initially we generally believe that Selenium is a single tool. But the reality is Selenium is not a single tool, guys. Rather, it is a set of different components. Okay, there are four different components we have in Selenium. Okay, there are four different components we have in Selenium, which together will form Selenium, guys. Okay, so the simple thing here is Selenium is not a single thing. It's a different, it's a group of or set of different components. Okay, you have to understand. So what are those different components of Selenium or different components in Selenium which form a, uh, which form Selenium, okay, together. So I already mentioned Selenium is not a single tool. Instead, it's a combination of tools or components like we generally have to call them as Selenium components. Uh, together, it will form a Selenium, okay. That is one of them is, as you can see in this diagram, the first one is Selenium ID, guys, okay. Uh, which is a record and playback tool okay for this this is for non technical users okay non technical uh, uh, people who want to automate the web applications using selenium right they generally go with selenium id they don't have to write any code here okay you don't have to have any programming language knowledge like java python c sharp ruby javascript etc etc to automate some uh, web application test cases or scenarios okay uh, because this is selenium id is a record and playback tool guys okay because selenium id is a record and playback tool uh, it's as simple as okay the recording is as simple as recording a video guys okay and the playback is as simple as playing the recorded video okay so you will you will not have to write any single line of code rather you will record your activities on the web application using the selenium id tool you generally record your activities okay whatever the activities that you are performing on the web application that can be recorded and later they can be played back. Okay. So this is how we write the automation scripts in Selenium ID guys, for which we don't have to have any programming knowledge. So non-technical users generally use Selenium ID guys. Okay. That's one thing. What about the second component of Selenium, Selenium RC, which is now deprecated or outdated, you can say. Okay. Uh, currently, if you go to the official website of Selenium also, you only see three components. Okay. You will not see this fourth component or uh, this Selenium RC component, you will not see. You go to the official website of Selenium, that is selenium.dev. On the home page, you see only three components are specified. There's Selenium Web Driver, Selenium ID, which is record and playback tool, and Selenium Grid Guides. Okay. These are the three only components of Selenium that are currently active. And uh, the other component I am talking about here, Selenium RC, is now deprecated or outdated log back itself. Okay. Now, instead of Selenium RC, people have migrated to Selenium Web Driver. No one is using Selenium RC nowadays. Everyone has migrated to the latest of Selenium RC, that is Selenium Web Driver. Okay, long back Selenium RC used to be major component of Selenium. But later what happened when Selenium web driver came, okay, everyone has migrated to Selenium web driver and Selenium RC got deprecated or outdated, you can say. So no more you can consider Selenium RC as a uh, component of Selenium, guys. So Selenium ID is record and playback component of Selenium where this is only for the, this is generally for the non-technical uh, users or uh, employees or who, whatever you say. Uh, who don't want, who don't have any programming knowledge or techie knowledge, or they still want to automate the application. Such kind of people can use Selenium ID, okay, from Selenium. So coming to Selenium Web Driver, this one requires a programming language and is a major component, guys. Everyone uses, okay. If you want to automate an application, uh, okay. If you want to automate an application, people use Selenium Web Driver, guys. Okay, this is a major component of Selenium. And uh, then we have Selenium Grid, guys, which distributes across machines, okay. Only Selenium web driver means your scripts will run on only a single machine. But with Selenium Grid, uh, you can connect different machines in a network and can distribute your automation scripts across multiple machines. So different scripts will run on different machines uh, for a purpose. Okay. So to save the time and all, uh, we generally go with uh, for, uh, Selenium Grid is all about distributing the automation scripts across multiple machines. Okay. So rather than your scripts run in a single machine, you can make your scripts with the help of Selenium Grid. You can make your scripts run on different machines. Okay. So that is the purpose of Selenium Grid. Selenium Grid is generally, this component is generally used with Selenium Web Driver case. Okay, the combination. Selenium Web Driver plus Selenium Grid. That combination will be there. Coming to ID, non-technical. So coming to the Selenium Web Driver and Selenium Grid, technical people. Okay, who, who has a programming knowledge. RC is outdated, deprecated. So I don't want to dig deep here. 
okay i don't want to dig deep and you know cover all the other things okay this much is enough guys this much is more than enough uh, just have an idea that uh, simple from this session just have an idea that uh, selenium is not a single tool instead it's a set or combination of different components okay so this, those are nothing but selenium components that is ide web driver grid where rc is outdated right now okay is updated fine so uh, more details about how we can record a record scenarios with selenium id and playback those scenarios and all will be covered later and also selenium web driver how to uh, write the selenium automation scripts with the help of a programming language supported programming languages also will be explained later guys okay and selenium grid also will be covered later for you in the upcoming sessions so that's all for this session thank you see you in the next session bye